car drive right out of this place. My name is Joey Matthew, and I am a model. I'll be up and running when the postman calls. As a model, I travel the world, I work very hard, I partied even harder. But through it all, I discovered a passion, a passion to cook and a passion to feed people. Oops. My dream, a love cuisine restaurant. So come along with me in my quest to create the perfect love pie. Having been a model all my life, I can tell you a few things about eating. People think models don't eat, but you know, the fact of it is we eat, but we eat right. Today's lunch is almost like my New Year resolutions. I start off wanting everything amazing and intensely athletic supermodel body, but you know, two weeks down the line, I'm back in the pudding bin. So today for lunch, I have shrimp with ginger, chili, garlic, and parsley, sea tuna with baby spinach, roasted red chili dressing, toasted pumpkin seeds. But for pudding, my most favorite, mango meringue cake in all its sumptuous splendor. Let me give you a chemistry lesson today. Meringue is an airy substance created by egg whites and sugar. Today, what we are going to do is make two meringue cakes. One, I'm going to peak. The other, I'm going to flatten out. We're going to put it in the oven, 20 minutes, and they're going to come back. Then, we're going to make a mango puree, some mascarpone cheese, and we're going to sandwich it together to make pudding bliss. For the meringue cake base, it's pretty simple. We're looking at a sponge cake ingredients, which is basically flour, butter, eggs, bicarb, and baking powder, milk, some lemon zest. Since we're gonna do a mango meringue cake, I wanted to flavor the sponge cake with a little bit of mango juice. So let's start. We need to separate four eggs. Separating egg whites. Get your hands dirty. Very important that there's absolutely no egg yolk inside the egg white. For the sponge cake, I need just the egg yolks. My egg yolks are here. Four egg yolks going in. Very, very important to sieve the flour. Always sieve the flour. For the lighter, more area sponge, sieve everything flour-like that goes in. Me, I even sieve my corn flour, just to make sure that it's not lumpy. Lumps do not allow the sponge batter to rise. 20 grams corn flour. Then goes in 125 gram of really soft butter. A little bit of lemon zest, 100 grams sugar, half a teaspoon bicarbs, and a full teaspoon of the baking powder. Now, to just to get all of this to mix up, I'm going to add a tad bit of milk and some mango juice to flavor. You're not looking for a runny consistency when you make this batter. You're looking for something that looks soft and mellow and just about a mix, but not too runny. Cake bases are done. We're going to move that aside and start on our meringues. Now it's whisking time. It's very important when you whisk egg whites to just whisk the egg whites on its own until it becomes a little bit fluffy and rises up a little bit. This is where we're going to add our first big ladle of sugar. Be sure to whisk the sugar straight into the egg whites fully before we incorporate the second. Second spoon. Wow. 
Beaks have started in all its splendor. We're going to do the time-old tradition of checking if this egg whites have been beaten up, which essentially means I can do this and nothing will happen to this. So we need to put that onto our cake base. Very important to be very gentle with your meringue mixture. Take your time, focus on it, and do it with love. Meringue done, my flat meringue base, my peaked meringue base. Going into the oven now at 180 degrees Celsius for say 20 to 25 minutes. You wanna check with the skewer that the cake base comes out perfectly clean. So my cakes are in the oven. Now I'm going to show you how to make the mango puree and the mascarpone cheese mix. But first, mangoes. Smile. Mangoes are a little bit cut off. I think I need some chini. Now, to blitz this up. Smile. Just going to put a little bit of mango juice in it. Perfect. My mango puree is done. It's time to look at my cake. Look at these beauties. And this is the meringue base. I need to check whether the cake base has been cooked. The skewer needs to come out super clean. That's perfect. Mascarpone cheese is uh, my most favorite dessert cheese. It comes from a region called the Lombardy in Italy. A tad bit of cream, just to give it that fluffiness. And it's whisking time again. Quite simply like this. My cakes have been cooling down. It looks a little bit stuck. Just give it some help. Ta da! Doesn't really matter if a little bit of the meringue comes out. Pop it into your mouth. So now I'm going to put the mango puree, mascarpone cheese on top of this. Doesn't it look delish? Ta-da! So there you have it, my version of a mango meringue cake. If you have a meringue cake recipe that is even better than mine, or even as good as mine, send it to me, give it a go, follow me. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.